Hi guys, um, somebody was asking me how to um, modify a, a Contour HD camera to have an external mic, so, um, so I'm just going to make this quick little video. Uh, you'll have to excuse the quality, I don't have another video camera, I've only got my um, my eyesight, which is pretty old, fairly crap. So uh, the quality may not be very good, it's going to be a bit shaky, etc. But I'll try to stabilise it. Um, so yes, yeah, so this is this is a Contour HD. It's completely standard except for you see there's a cable coming out the bottom here, and you can see that uh, I've got a, a standard audio RCA jack on the end of that lead. Um, and in my helmet, I won't pull it out because it's it's all tucked away nicely and the way I like it. But um, you can see there's a, a little jack hanging out the, out the back here, and inside here I've just tucked up the the other end of the cable and uh, there's a mic tucked in the um, the cheek cushion just here and uh, that seems to work pretty well I'm quite happy with that so um, opening the, the Contour HD to, to do all of this to get all the work done I'm not going to go through uh, everything and show you step by step um, because really the hard bit is opening it and, and getting access to the bits inside and if you don't know how to do it you can kind of fumble around a bit and do the wrong things so um, here's, here's what I found the, the main things um, to, to get into the device you're going to need to remove every single screw that it has and there's a few important ones um, there's one just down here I um, don't know if you can see it just there uh, that's that's holding the uh, lens cover it's just a piece of glass sitting across the lens you need to unscrew that screw out you then need to screw unscrew the cover the other thing that's holding this this metal um, part on here there's this screw just here and there's another screw here so you need to undo those two be very gentle when you're putting these small screws back in the side of the camera here um, they don't grab into anything on the, the body other than a piece of plastic so if you screw it too hard in you will strip the plastic the metal cover comes off um, and that exposes the switch the other tricky bits are you have one two three four screws that you need to undo on the plastic cover at the bottom I'm a little bit loath doing this because yeah, it was kind of difficult putting it all back together again. So I've taken off those four screws. The other thing you need to, to be aware of is this cover is held on by this plastic part. So as soon as you lift this, you free this cover from being rem to, for being removed. And that just pops out there. And you can see it's, um, it's only held on by uh, just a couple of little tags there. And there's inside there's pins holding it down. Uh, at this point you probably should have done this at the start. Take the battery out. <laughs> you don't want to uh, short anything out while you're working on it. Um, now this cover just comes off like that. And as you can see I've I've threaded mine my cable through that bottom cave cover and then through a hole that I've drilled in the plastic of the actual camera so you need to do that too and you, you need to prepare this this uh, grey cable whatever colour it's going to be um, you need to prepare it so that it's uh, it's already got the the bit on the end and it's um, ready to go through the holes so um, the other screws you need to undo there's a screw at the, the bottom here so you need to undo that there's another screw here and you'll be thinking at this point, well, I can open this up, can't I? Well, no. There's another screw hidden in here, and you can barely see it. Um, there's basically the, this this recording thing here, and this black one here, and they need to come off. They're basically stickers, um, bits of tape, and undo this hidden screw. Okay, so that's uh, that's everything you need to take it off. Now, just be aware that when you pop this open, nothing is holding the 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 actual uh, CCD on, so you want to um, be careful when you're doing that. And it's it is clipped on at the bottom here, 
so it does require just a little bit of pressure just to pop that open. And once once it's open, it just sh should come apart like that. And this is the internals. Um, now I'm not going to take the PCB out and show you everything I've done underneath because I don't need to, uh, and it's a pain in the bump to put it all back together again. I don't want to do that. But as you can see, I've got my grey cable going through here where I've pushed it through a hole that I've drilled on the other piece where the battery goes in and that hole was the original mic uh, mounting position and uh, this this cable I've soldered on to the end of the wire that used to have the original microphone connected to it that's that's all poked in underneath there I've wrapped it with covered it with tape so that it's it's insulated and won't touch any of the other electronics inside and then I've just run that that cable in um, down behind where the, the lens is and it, you'll notice that the camera can still rotate its um, the lens that's kind of important because that's one of the core functionalities of this this particular camera putting it back together can be a pain in the bum there is this little switch here which will fall out because um, it's not being glued on at all so it'll just fall off when you pull the PCB out uh, you need to kind of balance it on there hold it upright squeeze all the electronics in get the cable right and um, and you know hopefully <laughs> hopefully it'll all snap together and, and won't won't um, won't refuse to go back together again so once once you've done your soldering and you've got everything uh, connected up you're going to need to test it and without doing that you're going to need to plug it together you only need to snap it together like this to test you don't need to screw everything back together again so you, you snap it together put the battery in off you go so when you when you go to put this back together again um, so you've got the the body of the camera you've just snapped it together put this screw back in here before you put the cover back on make sure you put the uh, the bottom screws the silver ones in